I got a question for you guys out there. Is 120 hertz and 240 hertz TVs real? Because I'm trying to believe that they're not. The reason why is because um, I have my PC hooked up to my TV screen inside my living room. Just to let you know I'm not bull shitting. There's my PC right there. Keyboard right there on my lap. And mouse right there. Okay, so basically this is my third time testing this out. Connecting my PC to a 120 hertz or a 240 hertz TV screen. My first two screens I tested was from Vizio. And of course it would not work on the Vizio screen just because Vizio and RCA and Panasonic, those cheap brands, they're not really all that cheap, but the cheaper brands, they use the cheap way of going about producing a refresh rate of 120 hertz and 240 hertz with a, blink, a back blinking light system, which, you know, gives you gen the generic way of producing 240 hertz and 120 hertz. For example, the 3D right now will be a generic way of producing 3D compared to something that's real 3D where it comes out of the screen and it stands right there in front of you. So, you know, just to give an example. So, um, this is my third time trying to do this. And the reason I had a lot of confidence is because I'm using a Sony Bravia 46 inch 3D TV 240 hertz. True 240 hertz. Because Sony and Panasonic and LG, those top of the line brands, produce actual true refresh rates to their TVs. It's actually repeating the frames in a real sequence without giving, you know, the sense of a fake or a false refresh rate, even though that works good too. But um, anyways, so I connect my PC monitor and I go into, you know, control panel, display, adjust resolution, advanced settings, monitor, and the only options I get is 60 hertz and below. 60 hertz, 59, 50, 30, 29, 25, 24, 23. So, I opens up my catalyst system, which is ran through my graphics card itself. And when you go to control panel, and when you go to like your graphics card setting for your monitor, or wherever you got, whatever screen you're running, it should show exactly model, the exact model number of that screen, which it does. It detects my uh, Sony TV. It says the name of it and everything. And it should detect all its specs, all its internal specs and everything. And it should be able to, you know, show you what your TV is capable of doing versus the PC itself. And the only thing it's showing that my TV is able to run at is 60 hertz. Desktop management, desktop properties. 60 hertz. Same exact stuff as the other one. Now you guys can see that. Let me turn and zoom in some more. You guys can probably see that. 60 hertz. 60, 59, 50, 30, 29, 25, 24, 23. So. And how also how you can test out and see how many frames we get that you get inside the game, as far as PC gaming, of course, is just turning on the game and having something like Fraps. This is the only thing I use Fraps for. I don't use Fraps to record anything whatsoever. I use it for a benchmark. Of course, you can use the game itself benchmarks inside this game, but most games don't have benchmarks. For example, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna turn on uh, Half-Life: Lost Coast. Turn on the game that your PC is able to run at extreme settings no matter what and get above 100 frames per second so Half-Life Lost Coast I get like you know 120 200 frames per second easily and when you turn on a game on your PC and you turn on V-Sync V-Sync enables the amount of frames it stops the limit of frames that you're getting depending on your TV screen so it looks at your screen specs and if your screen is getting like 60 frames per second it's gonna stop your refresh rate at 60 frames if your screen getting a thousand frames per second, it's gonna stop the refresh rate. The refresh rate is gonna be able to go up to a thousand frames per second. So it automatically detects your screen refresh rate and it stops it there. So with that said, I'm gonna demonstrate what I'm explaining right now. And I don't know if you guys see that number up there, but that number up there is gonna show how many frames per second I'm getting inside this game. I'm gonna go to new game, start new game. And we're gonna get this baby on the road. So 
sorry for the little super brightness of the screen, you know. After just finished loading, like, for an hour. So, I'm starting to get kind of ticked off about this whole little thing. Okay, so I got my headphones plugged up, so you ain't going to be able to hear anything. But at the top of the screen, wow, that kind of was crazy. What the hell? Okay, so I'm getting 80 to 100 something frames per second. Um, but at the same time, that doesn't mean that my screen support is supporting it right now. I'm getting the kind of I'm getting a little bit of stutter as I turn. I don't know if you guys may not notice it because you know it's recording through a, a HD camera, but like I'm getting a little bit of stutter as I turn, like it's like stuttering a little bit, not because. My PC can't run it, of course. My PC can run this times three, but it's just that the frame rate might not be supported. Now, if I go to options, go to video, go to advanced settings, and turn VSync, wait for VSync, enable that, go to OK, apply, OK. Then it's going to synchronize the frames that my screen is able to put out and leave it at that. Give it a few seconds. Okay. Go to resume. A solid 60 is going to stay above the screen pretty much at all times. That's how much frames per second it's saying that my screen is able to deliver. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less, period. Now I'm getting no stutter. It's turning real smooth like. Now, the thing is, I could be still getting. 240 frames per second with that 60 frames that I'm getting up there The TV may be actually doubling that or should I say quadrupling that and actually really it, it may actually be still delivering 240 Hertz 240 frames per second even though it's showing 60 up there Because it does feel kind of smooth and I know how 60 hertz feel. 60 hertz don't feel nothing like this. This feels relatively very smooth, without that much blur at all. Well, staying at solid 60. So enough of all that. Let me leave out this game. And another game I like to I like to use uh, this game as a benchmark, kind of not really a benchmark to test my graphics, of course, just a benchmark to see, you know, how many frames I'm able to get maximum from a certain graphics card. Because you can't test that. And uh, people say use Crisis. Crisis. That's not the. You shouldn't use Crisis. Crisis is just what you should use to see your toughest to test your might of your graphics card. That's what you use cross, uh, Crisis for. Uh, Half Life, any other Half Life games, you use that for the test to just see how how much frames you get in in, in an average game, like in an average game, and you know, show how strong your uh, graphics card is. Um, again, another game I like to test out is uh, Far Cry 2. Now, on my TV screen inside the room, I'm using an LED screen, 23 inch. So, with max settings, this this uh, game run like a champ, like it runs super smooth. But on my big ass TV, of course, you're, you know, it's going to take more processing power to run on a bigger screen. So, you know, when I do run this game on my TV screen, I can't run everything at ultra high settings at DirectX 10. I got to cut some settings down a little bit. But right now it's maxed out. But that's not my, I'm not about to show you guys some gameplay. I mean, I can if you want to see some gameplay, but like, dang, what I'm getting at. What I like to use Far Cry for is that, like, when I got any TV screen or any monitor or anything, I like to go to the options because within the game it shows your display screen settings and it gives you an option of choosing what you want to choose. And right now it's only 24 hertz or 60 hertz. And I wonder why I listed down here like multiple times, but 60 hertz or 24 hertz and that's it. So that's that. So whoever out there. That can answer, you know, not really answer is 240 hertz or 120 hertz real, but you know, 
no matter what video I type on on YouTube, no matter what forums I go to, I cannot figure out how to get my TV screen true refresh rate to work on my PC or my PC to detect that my screen has a true refresh rate of 120 or 240 hertz. Now, I know you may be saying, well, noob side, I get a fucking PC monitor and stop bitching. Okay, I don't like PC monitors, period. I try three or four PC monitors, try to game on those. They're too fucking ashy, excuse my language. Too ashy, they need some lotion, they need some, uh, they need some lotion. Johnson & Johnson, they need some lotion. Or whatever, they have no settings, you can't change the brightness, the contrast, the sharpness, the tint, the color, the, 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 uh, the, uh, color temperature. The, uh, you can't change nothing on PC monitors. I can't stand them. I can't. I just despise them. I hate how they look. They have no view distance. You can stand right, barely on side of the PC monitor. You can't hardly see sh crap. Um, yes, they have. I mean, there's a couple of PC monitors out, monitors out there that has 120 hertz refresh rate, but it's only a couple. And I had one before, and I tested out Far Cry 2. Every time I went to, every time I went uh, in Far Cry 2 and changed it to 120. The screen is split up in four. Like it changed to four. Like it split up in four screens for some odd, stupid, retarded, dumbass, idiotic reason. And it wouldn't let me run it at 120 hertz unless the screen splits itself up in four screens for some stupid reason. I don't know what was going on, but I had to send that screen back. It was pissing me off. And I didn't like how the content looked, anyways. But gaming on a PC on a PC monitor, you can get away with a PC monitor with a PC. Just because a PC graphics is beyond a console graphics by by like five, depending on what you what you're able to run, and um, you don't notice it on the PC monitor. But if you take that PC monitor, hook it up to a 360 or a PS3, you will tell the difference easily. But anyway, this is not about graphics or textures or pixels and stuff. This is about refresh rate, and I cannot get my TV refresh rate to work right with my PC. So I'm starting to believe that refresh rate on these TVs are fake and to a person that that has way more knowledge than me which there's a lot of them out there because I don't really got that much knowledge on all this PC and stuff I barely started learning about this stuff a year and a half ago and I mean I didn't know what refresh rates was and 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 uh, 120 Hertz and and V-Sync and anti-aliasing I know what all that stuff was until like a year ago when I started you know learning stuff for myself but you know, I could be doing something wrong. I have an HDMI cable hooked up to my TV from the PC. That may be the thing. I may need a DVI cable instead of HDMI. But that's a $50 HDMI cable with like four times uh, solid coating without no interference. And it's the latest version. And it supports 120 and 240 and 3D content. So, I don't know. Let me know. Need help. Thank you. Peace. And I'm out.